don't know who got rid of Fuerza in bracket, uh, but I'm, I'm very curious to see if Fuerza is going to be finding himself in... Well, he's already in top eight, but none, no. like, there's not enough time for that right now, guys. It's winner's finals here. Yep, winner's finals Wait, is here. Oh, let's go default. <laughs> Yeah, so, okay, so default knocked him to lose. I was going to go check real okay. quick. But the uh, explosive oh combo going to come through. Yeah, and yeah. Maya finds himself in space. <laughs> it just in the stratosphere, got launched. But back with a vengeance here, said, okay, um, I was too close to him and I lost the stock. I will not be doing that again. <laughs> Helpfully social distancing from, yeah. Just going to say, hey, taste my laser. If, um... If you want to get My into super the space, laser <laughs> super laser. See, I told you this is gonna be back and forth. These guys just raiding explosive, uh, you know, uh, hits whenever they're yeah. in disadvantage. And For sure. uh, boy, howdy, I was right there. <laughs> true, true, true. And uh, right now we see it's Key's turn as he's just piling on the damage here and looking for the kill. Um, but unable to kind of get any type of confirm going and is now in a very bad situation here. I want to call out the delayed up B from T. Um, there really wasn't all that much to it. He just kind of baited uh, like he was going to use his up B a little bit earlier. And it made Maya throw out the charge ram ramp uh, a little bit earlier. Uh, wasn't able to do it that time and he got caught with a two frame by the dragon. So, yeah. you know, the fact that, that dragon can two frame. Crazy. Oh my kind of wild yeah it's like yeah. okay so i get why uh the ram ram can two frame there but um because it's kind of the weaker one but when dragon just hits you on a two frame it feels really bad because you are losing your stock 10 times out of 10 there yeah Ooh, but read the Ooh, roll nice there awesome. very key yeah, like so there so again, I told you guys it's a volatile matchup. Whoever's winning is winning hard. Whoever's until losing, you get a grab. Oh, he whiffed. He whiffed it. Put he almost the shield, had the zero uh, to death. Yeah. Yeah. Maya was able to get the shield up before the landing up air came through. Yeah, he kind of whiffed and, on uh, the second nair to keep Maya in disadvantage so that up beat could connect. So um, good stuff on Maya. Good awareness, able to kind of keep the stock going. But key, oh, what in the world? No, 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 no. That did not just happen. There's no way. No. That was the most custom combo of custom combos oh, I've ever God. seen. What the heck? Key, you freaking maniac. <laughs> somebody oh somebody kind of needs to clip that. I mean, you are not uh, going to let that go passing and just not want to watch that again. That's top five clips of the week. Oh, Tell LS Mewtwo he needs to he needs to see this. <laughs> oh my God! What was that? I've never seen that conversion come out of Luigi before. The double dip into Up B. Oh, oh my gosh, dude! Oh yeah, and there goes the volatility. Like, what the heck? We're like commentator. He he only agreed with me because of a coin flip. <laughs> hey okay, hey, I just keep in mind who you're talking to here. I'm a, I'm a man of chance. I'm a man of chance. You can't blame it on I, okay. me. <laughs> at the end I, of the day, I, at the end I'll of the day, true. we we were right. You know, you were right, but we were right. So, <laughs> at the end of the day, I simply should not have thrown out heads. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! So here we go with the Kalos. Yeah, it's just okay. funny to see. Oh my gosh, the grab was gotten. Re grabs. No, he's doing it okay. again. Oh my goodness. Okay, but at least we're on Kalos here, so um, you saw Key had to opt for the re-grab because the up B, like, conversion wouldn't have killed um, because Kalos has really high ceiling, so um, yeah, without um, any type of, like, see. oh, yeah, you see there, like, that down yeah. throw, down B didn't even come close to killing, but the up smash swing on the second coming is going to finish that stock. <laughs> the second coming. Oh, my <laughs> goodness. I, when I said it, I was like, I know he's going to say something. <laughs> <laughs> he, I mean, hey, look, if Jesus is Luigi, you know, it's not too far off from the truth. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. Um, and, but, oh boy. Who doesn't love Luigi? Yeah, but if you hate Luigi, you know, I mean, I understand, but 
that seems like, you know, a you problem, you know? Because Luigi never did anything yeah. to you. We can say <laughs> the same thing about Jesus. <laughs> there you go. There you go. <laughs> Jesus, Luigi, same thing. Yeah, same thing. <laughs> so, anyway, back to the match. Um, yeah, so these guys kind of going blow for blow right now, a little bit more than we've seen in the set. The dragon going to come through, not quite get a kill yet, though. Mm -hmm. Two friend not yeah. going to come out from the ramp branch. Yeah, Key forced to recover and, uh, super low there. Yeah. But right now... Out right now, trying to find his way in, deal some extra damage. My almost definitely utilizing all the space Kablos gives to you. And oh my gosh, that megawatt Nair almost just taking the stock there. So crazy. Oh my gosh. Good roll through from Key, but he wasn't able to get the shield up in time. Ooh, Wait, there bounce. we go. Okay. The uh, megawatt Nair got to come through, taking that stock. And uh, now Key's finding himself at the deficit after starting off so strong. For sure here. I mean, like we mentioned, I mean, I'm going to keep saying it because this matchup is volatile. Uh, Key is most definitely down, but not out at all. Um, two stocks could go away in just 30 seconds if Maya's not careful. But as we see, Maya's making sure to be careful. <laughs> Yeah. Just staying away uh, I mean, from Key. The longer Maya keeps this stock, the better it's going to be for them. I know that's like, oh, no, duh. But, you know, <laughs> think about it logistically. If Maya can't get zero to death and could just keep racking up damage on Luigi, uh, ultimately might end up winning the video game. Go figure. Yeah. And, and the big stage is going to make it one-to-one -one in favor of Maya. Yeah, that was really well played there from Maya. Just uh, that last stock just played it perfectly. Kept key out, made sure to not do any kind of predictable roles or um, even give key a chance to kind of read her. And um, just got the kill and they were smooth sailing from there. Word. And uh, speaking of LS Mewtwo, I wanted to thank LS Mewtwo for the raid. Uh, yeah, coming thank you in. For the I, raid. Think, I think Homeboy's been streaming uh, Fire Emblem Three Houses. Uh, Crazy. So and, and coming through here, I think he's doing the Golden Deer route, if I'm not mistaken. Hey, uh, that's the route. So yeah, go. thanks, thanks LSB too. Always a pleasure. Uh, really, really appreciate you coming through here. Mango's back. Hey, buddy, it's good to see you. I'm doing pretty good. This is my friend Big M. Uh, he and I stop, commentate stop, stop. over on my friend missing no stream, and uh, this. Next match is going to be getting underway here, so um, let's let's begin commentating. Now we're going to be on Smashville, very small stage, but then again, uh, any of Min Min's neutral attacks are going to take up half of the stage from a yeah. horizontal standpoint. So yeah. yeah, it's very scary, very sketchy here for Key, as um, any like you mentioned, any of. Maya's attacks are going to cover ha almost half the stage. And while there is a platform, it's directly above Maya's head. So it's not much in terms of um, helping Key out. As if he goes to that platform, he can eat a giant up smash. So um, he's going to have to just yeah. kind of utilize his wits to try and approach uh, Maya on the yeah. ground. And on top of that, Luigi wants to get a lot of damage from falling aerials uh, onto Maya. If there's a platform on top, it's really going to hinder his ability to do that. And the forward smash dragon, the, the go blur, as I've heard it be called, um, yeah. gonna come through, take that first dog from P, uh, with barely 60% to Maya's name. Yeah, Maya really playing it well. Kind of saw, I, I feel like that combo kind of put the fear of Luigi um, in her and is able to really just keep Key out. Maya's not gonna let Key kind of get in and go for crazy combos, but you know, not gonna hold Key back. He's gonna continue to play the game, but Maya's trying to make it so that he can't. Yeah, if Maya wins this game, uh, it is gonna definitely throw off the um, stage pick uh, for the rest of the set. Because right now, since Key took game one, uh, he has the counter pick advantage um, if the set goes to a game five. Now, if Maya wins this, um, in and he, you know, he'll have counter pick for the, ne the next uh, match. But true, true. uh oh, dodge. But yeah, anyway, um, 
my point is it'll disrupt the pattern, and if we go to a game five, Maya will have the counterplay. If assuming Maya wins this game. Yeah, yeah, I feel you there. So complex um, algorithms I have to build right now. Yeah, it's more complicated it's, than YouTube. It's it's <laughs> it's very complex. Honestly, next level brain. <laughs> it's brain science and rocket surgery, both of those combined. Oh my god, I <laughs> that hurt my brain. <laughs> uh, but he is on his last block of this game. Uh, you know, even if he loses here, he will have two more games to come back. But let's not get worried about that right now, because he's doing a very good job of trying to bring this game back. Uh, Maya is at a pretty high percent right now. And if he can get one good read with an up smash or maybe a down B. Yep, there's the up smash. Um, yep. He might be in a little bit of a better position to uh, go through this game. Look it into existence, my guy. We're here at one stock apiece. Um, after that uh, kind of roll anticipation there from Key, he was able to just let it fly and take the stock. And now, Maya playing extreme keep away as they are at that magical 0% number. Well, now they're at 6, but uh, kind of getting grabbed at super low percents is very bad when uh, the person on the other side of the grab is Luigi. Imagine holding center, but also being able to pressure your opponent who's trying to recover. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like I mentioned, there's only one character, well, there are two characters in the game that can edge guard you from the center of the stage. Snake and Min Min. Yep. <laughs> so. Yes, sir. <laughs> yep, and, and that's... Uh, Maya finds herself in a game advantage for the first time in this set, and uh, AMG... He gonna be looking for a counter pick that might suit his needs in this set a little bit better than uh, the small stage of Smashville was doing for him. And ultimately, uh, I'm kind of expecting FD to come through mm -hmm. um, because look, no platforms. That means Maya can't shark. Mm -hmm. uh, the flat stage is gonna make it, you know, no platforms is gonna make it hard for Key to escape and and maybe get an approach onto maya um without with, you know all the while avoiding those arms uh but we're gonna see what the counter pick is right this second as soon as the match starts did you make a charge ko uppercut uh, here so i guess unclear unclear but we are here on ps2 actually that's gonna be the counter pick uh Interesting there. So, yeah, we're going to PS2, um, everybody's favorite neutral stage, and where the best games are made. And um, interested to see what he saw on the stage to kind of go here. It most definitely is neutral and uh, not as polarizing as like FD or Smashville, but uh, we'll see how he'd be able to kind of play around this dual plat setup. Yeah, I'm seeing Key kind of falling into a little bit of a pattern with his approach options. Um, you know, he's coming down with a Zare. Uh, mm -hmm. And, you know, after he lands, he likes to go in for a dash attack. Yeah. Um, and instead of instead of approaching from above to try to get an aerial combo going, uh, he's trying to just kind of clear the stage a little bit and get Mimmin off. The thing is, Maya is seeing through that pattern, and that is why he finds himself at a very big percent deficit right now. Because his, his, predict or his um, approach options have been very predictable up to this point and you know we, we see it work you know right there and he's, he's trying to run with a little bit of a of a, a combo and uh ultimately staying in advantage for a little bit doing his yeah. part but you know all it takes is one more read like that and his stock is probably gonna be gone yeah and oh almost gets the up smash off but that megawatt honestly very distro well not very disjointed but very huge and is gonna kind of <laughs> clean up the stock there uh, keep going down at that stock deficit. That's probably not what he wants to see, but like I mentioned, he's not out of the game at all. It's just very unfortunate yeah. when you go down against Min Min, especially when Maya's in their groove, just playing very patient. Yeah. If you are winning, you do not have to approach. Your opponent has to approach you. And with a character that excels at dealing with approaches like Min Min or, you know, keeping opponents away like Min Min, it's mm -hmm. very good for them to see. And if you're key playing in this situation, uh, you know, winner of this set secures second place, and this could be your last game in winner's bracket. Uh, you really need to keep yourself composed 
and not fall, you know, into uh, a brain dead state where you keep doing the same options, uh, like we've seen him been doing this entire game. Uh, we really don't want to see this guy who's worked so hard to get here not make his way at least to game five. Yeah, obviously there. It's most definitely a rough one. Uh, he has to really be patient, but we see here, gets the grab. This could be something big. Oh, it lives on the Again, up air. Maya always gets that shield up in time right before the falling up air comes out. For sure. Um, the zero to death combo is 100% true, so Key most definitely has some mechanical things they could clean up, but it's very good awareness on Maya to be sure, like, okay, um, if they do it right, good on Key, uh, but if I do get an opportunity, I'm making sure to shield as soon as possible to stop off anything crazy. And um, yeah, Maya just playing that well, Key most definitely probably punching himself for that one because that's a stock, usually if you're um, in perfect execution. Oh my gosh, he went for that. The misfire. <laughs> and like, what's crazy is that if that hit, he, he would have gotten stock. Yeah, man. I just, I'm very, I'm very worried for Key right now because he needs to play pretty much perfectly. Can't let himself fall into any of those this or, or should I say arms? Yeah, he yeah, really it is. To... <laughs> Homeboy really just, he needs to, to keep himself back, get a good read, get that stop. Then he needs to get a grab combo. He actually needs to hit the zero to death confirm. Yeah, and um, his last stock of winning chapter. Yeah, this could be a crazy last stock, and uh, yeah, the, the whole doghouse coming for him this time. And there goes the megawatt, gonna seal out that one. And there goes game three. Jesus. Well, Maya Lazarus gonna take the set three to one against Key. Uh, honestly, Maya's been doing very well in this tournament, uh, getting paired against uh, opponents that really need to approach. And uh, unfortunately, you know, for uh, everyone who has had to go against Maya Lazarus, they're uh, finding themselves at a big deficit. So. All right, so uh, ladies and gentlemen, we are going